Hi, Gail Sibley here from HowToPastel.com. I am super excited about my online course, Pastel Painting en Plein Air. Now, this video is going to give you a little taste of what's in the course. And if you want more information, click that link below and it'll take you to a page that will give you all the nitty gritty details about what's in the course. I look forward to seeing you there. And I'm using my hands here to create a viewfinder since I don't have a physical one on me at the time and by doing that I'm cropping the landscape I'm framing only a small portion of the landscape and this yellow is way too it's actually darker than I would need um, and more saturated color a really rich saturated color and it will be what I see in front of me is going to be a lot lighter. Um, the sort of that lovely sun baked, sort of that dry grass look that comes in late summer. So the uh, underpainting has been complete and you can sort of see the blocked in in areas. Um, and and that's really important for me to see those those sort of massed shapes, which is one of the reasons I use three values, is to have a sort of a unity, create a unity of shapes. Now you'll see that the dark areas are not, have been sort of brushed off, and the especially the dark era, area on the left is the same value now as the fields. So I've come back, I've taken a nice little break and I've come back with fresh eyes to, to continue on this piece. And I'm just, you know, I just look around, what do I need, what do I need? And right at this moment I'm seeing all those little white spots that I'm just trying to get rid of. And you can see that I did that very, you know, I'm doing it very lightly, I'm not pushing hard into the... Um, into the paper. I have this um, red pastel and I've, I've tried to use this before. I feel have this feeling of, that I want to move it around in the picture, not just use it in the shadows of the hay bales. 